Dollar Tree is an awesome place to find affordable organization solutions and most of us head straight back to their plastic bin section, mainly because they have awesome options there. But did you ever think about these napkin holders or these cooling racks being an option? See these along with eight other Dollar Tree items used in unique ways to help you get organized. Hi everyone, I'm Shannon, the Daily DIYer. Now let's start with the cooling racks found in the kitchen section. They're easy to install on the wall with two screws or two nails. The wire feet help keep the racks raised away from the wall to create amazing vertical storage for things like your sunglasses or even your regular glasses. They hang perfectly from the wire tiers, giving you ample storage for at least 10 to 12 pair. I love that this helps keep them from getting scratched. They're handy when you're on the go and creates a nice display for your favorite shades. Jewelry works great on these too. You can hang earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and even other accessories like scarves. You can pair matching sets together to make it easy to find, grab, and go. And if silver isn't your color, you can even spray paint these racks to match your home's decor. Instead of installing them on the wall, how about under cabinets or work tables? It's so easy to do with small command hooks like these, or you can use screw hooks too, which will be a lot more sturdy. It's so easy to place a hook in the corners of one end and press into place. Then you'll hold the other end, pull that against the first two hooks and press the next two hooks into place. This creates a grid system that we can now attach S hooks onto to hang small things like scissors and tools or larger things like cutting mats, for your fabric or for your Cricut machine. You can also use the same concept in your kitchen under your kitchen cabinets to hang coffee mugs or kitchen utensils too. As mentioned earlier, these napkin holders are amazing for helping you get organized too. Like in the kitchen for cutting boards, you can stack them super easily and keep them off your counter. They're also great in your office for storing things like your mail, your envelopes, notebooks, note cards. And the cool thing is you can add more if you need more storage in the future. I've even used them for paint bottles in the past too. These hold the standard size acrylic paint bottles that you find at most craft stores and even Walmart. Again, the more paint you have, the more of these napkin holders you can add to your storage for only $1.25 each. I think it's an amazing deal and a pretty cute storage system too. I love these suction hooks. They are a game changer and they're also really great quality. You press them against a smooth hard surface and then pull down on the hook to tightly secure it. Then you can add it to things like your range hood to add trivets, pot holders, your cooking tools on there. You can also create an extra little garden space or a window garden by adding a hook to your window. This is a Dollar Tree metal bucket and then adding your plants in here. This will help get them off the windowsill or will give you more room to add to your collection. A similar idea works in the bathroom on a mirror to add extra storage for things like your toothbrushes, makeup, or your toiletries. These suction hooks work super great on smooth tile too, so they work great in your bathtub or shower for you to then be able to hang bath items like loofahs and washcloths. Binder clips are another great item that you can grab from Dollar Tree for using for storage and organization. They have lots of different options. I really like this pack of 12 because it comes in assorted sizes. So depending on your project, you have some options. This very first idea, we're gonna add some clips onto some Dollar Tree plastic buckets to create a little hanging system. It's so easy to just clip a binder clip right onto the side of the bucket. We're gonna do two here. And then what you'll do is you'll install some some cup hooks onto your wall so they're nice and sturdy and then it's simply easy to slide those little hooks right onto the wall hook so now you have some hanging storage and get some things off of your countertops now you don't want to put anything too heavy in here so items like using your pens pencils supplies for your office or craft room works perfect for this idea 
This next idea has helped me a lot in my crafting area. It helps kind of keep your cords up so you have some mobility. And to do that, all you need to do is kind of deconstruct your binder clip. You pinch the silver plastic pieces off and out of the little spaces on the black piece so that you can then put them onto your cords one at a time. So you can see this one we're doing, my hot glue gun. We're gonna reinsert by pinching the silver clips back into its space on the black clip. We're going to do the same thing with the other side and that way now our binder clip is attached onto our cord. We're going to then take our binder clip and clip it onto. You can either do your work table or for me I usually have this stand for filming on my work surface so I clipped it onto the side. You can see here my cord is always in the way. I'm usually having to hold it so I can use my glue gun. If you clip this onto the side of your work surface you then have more movability and flexibility to then do your work works great with a heat gun too here's a way to keep your gloves nice and organized too you can clip this on to your gloves you can find these at dollar tree too and then just hang it up in your work surface this works with workshop gloves rubber gloves you just hang it right onto a clip in your cabinet Here's a nice little fun trick too. You can clip these binder clips onto sponges and then set it off to the side in your sink. It allows it some time to drip dry and keep it out of a wet sink so it doesn't grow mold so easily. Next up are awesome ice cube trays. Yes, these are awesome. So awesome that I actually have a video coming up that has tons of different ideas of how to use these things. So make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss that video coming up because your mind is going to be blown by all the things I'm going to show you how to use them for. Washi tape is just one of the ideas. Look how fun this is. I love washi tape. I have tons of it. So this is a great storage solution. Also, let's talk about junk drawers. You have a junk drawer? This is mine, very embarrassing. Yes, it's sort of everything just thrown in there. I tried organizing with this white Ikea tray that's in there. However, obviously it was not working very well. So what I did is got to work, got all the little pieces and bits that were in the bottom, things that I actually do use. So look at this too. They fit right down into the Ikea organizers. I don't know how, just lucked out. I stored my batteries in there. You can see the before and after is crazy amazing. So much so that I just filled the whole thing up with these ice cube trays to keep everything extra organized, like my hooks, picture hangers, screws. I had some knobs in there, shower rings. I know, weird stuff. Now it's nice and organized. Dollar Tree is also awesome because they have these ice cube trays with lids on them. So you can use these in all kinds of different places. What I love about it most is you can stack them too. So if you have a short amount of space, you can stack these up and create vertical storage too. They're great for things like jewelry. You can saw you saw I have this drawer full of earrings just kind of all tossed in there. You can put sets of earrings into each little compartment, throw the lid on. If you drop it, they're not going to go flying everywhere. And like I said, again, you can stack them when you add more jewelry. Dollar Tree also has these great hardware storage cases. They have a couple different sizes. This is the larger one. This is super fun. I still have a little one. So for on the go, kind of creating a little snack container thing is fun. Now, of course, depending on your diet, you may have some healthier options. This is what I had. This is what I'm using to show you. But how fun is that? Take it on the road with you. Great for travel. Also, they have these smaller cases, which are great for, of course, smaller things. I thought I would show you some fun little items that you can put in there for your craft supplies. I don't know what it is, but some craft supplies, it seems like they're just so tiny and they get lost and you put them in little bags and they kind of like spill everywhere. So instead of that, you can put buttons in there, wiggly eyes in there. Of course, beads are a great thing to keep in there. Pom poms. Just a nice way to kind of keep those things from getting lost and easy to find when you need them. Closes up, stores nicely. Same thing with office supplies. So paper clips, erasers, magnets, that kind of thing. 
I also adore the hook systems that Dollar Tree carries. They have so many options. This one's my favorite. It's the over cabinet towel bar. I love this because it's telescoping. So you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, make it fit within your cabinet. So it's great on the outside to put towels on, but here's a trick. You can also put them on the inside of your cabinets and put your cleaners, just hook them right over the bar, keeps them up out of your cabinet bottom, easy to grab when you open the door to use. This is another great one. They're over the door hooks, but these are a little bit more heavy duty. They are metal, they are powder coated, so they're great for outside. If you have a little cabinet like this, slide it over the top. Great to then hang wet items like towels, bathing suits, hang them outside, let them dry before you bring them in. This is another one of my favorite hook hacks. It's so easy to do too. These hooks actually you have to screw in. They don't have the over the door hanger, but that's what we're wanting here. We're gonna take some heavy duty pliers. This is pretty heavy duty wire on these hooks, so that's actually a good thing. We're simply gonna take those, we're straighten out the hook, and we're gonna bend them up a little bit more, leaving a little space at the top so then we can still insert things to hang from them. And then we're gonna take a couple screws, screw them right up underneath a shelf or a cabinet. And then of course you can use these inside for like coffee cups and things like that. I have mine out on my back patio over my potting station to be able to hang things like gloves and my garden tools. Now back in the bathroom, this is another over the door hook, but it has several hooks on it. So it's longer. Instead of putting it over the door, how about putting it over a shower rod? If you're short on space, this is a great extra space to then be able to hang things like hand towels or your bath towels. So that's what it looks like on the outside, but you can also flip this around and use it on the inside of your shower. Great again for loofahs, washcloths, and scrubbers. Dollar Tree's file boxes are so stinking amazing too. So much so that I dedicated a whole video of ways to hack these, use these, and organize with these. And if you missed that, I'll link that down below. But here's a new idea. You can add paper plates, napkins, straws, things like that in here to keep those organized and, and handy. But it's also great to be able to then grab and go for picnics. You can also use these in your cabinets for things like water bottles. This is great. If you have a lot of water bottles like we do, then you're not digging to the back of the cabinet to find your favorite one. Another idea is to use these in your office or in your craft room. I love that it's so easy to stack these, sort of converting them one way and then the other way to then be able to add paper storage into your crafting space, whether it's scrapbook paper, computer paper, stickers, whatever you need, it creates very inexpensive vertical storage. Maybe you already have a ton of mason jars on hand and that is great, but if not, you can head to Dollar Tree. They have great ones too. You can also find these decorative lids at Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two, and I think most people probably use them for uh, displaying floral, so it kind of helps with floral arranging, but it's also super great for organization of things like the paintbrushes I'm showing you here, but you can also add pens, pencils, markers, craft supplies into these too to keep them organized and at hand. Another great thing to do is just remove the lids altogether from your mason jars and fill them with whatever you need, whether it's craft supplies or kitchen items. This is another idea that I use almost every time I craft. It is a holder for twine. So you take the lid from your mason jar and take a nail, hammer that right into the center and take some pliers to round out the hole and make it a little bit larger. This twine ball is from Dollar Tree too. It fits right in a mason jar. String the tail through that hole and then it makes it easy for you to then pull the string out and cut. And then your string isn't kind of rolling all over your work surface. Dollar Tree also has this great new peg system, which is a organizer's dream. They have great different peg boards and all kinds of accessories to get you organized. I just released a new video full of ideas, five different hacks, including this Lazy Susan tool storage box. If you wanna see how I created this and four other ideas and hacks using those peg system boards, click the thumbnail that's popping up on your screen right now. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.